What's up gamers, welcome to my new video guys. In today's video I'm doing something new, something totally new that I have never done regarding the drones, so I wanted to make a guide for drones. We will go every single drone that we have in game, we will go one by one and we will speak about it. So, let's start. Let's start like this. So, the first one is the fly drone. It's a really really cheap one. Let's go, let's go in the store, maybe it's easier that way. So 50,000 uh, 50, uh, silver, it's really, really cheap and it has only one slot, it's D-type, it's the healing slot. So basically this drone is <laughs> being really cheap and uh, maybe for in a starter league, in some smaller lower leagues, it's not that bad because you get it for 50,000 silver, it's really, really cheap guys. But for the higher leagues, definitely no, no, because of only one slot. So let's go to the second one. The second one in the store is a Sidekick. Sidekick, it has two slots. One of them is seed slot or defensive slot. Uh, so this one is not actually that bad. And we have a special ability. It uh, repairs your ability. Let's see when the robbers your ability falls below 35%, it repairs a portion of it immediately. It's only 3%, so I don't know. Regarding this drone, I would maybe rather run the first one with only one slot, because this one, this ability is almost worthless. It's, it's only 3%, it's really, really not much. So let's go for the next one. So regarding these drones, I will tell you which I could recommend and which I definitely don't recommend. This one is also having a uh, built-in uh, healing. So if the robot receives more than 70,000 damage within 5 seconds, repairs a portion of its durability immediately. 6%. So this, this drone actually is not that bad, because it has really neat ability. If you are running this, this drone could be effective on something like an invader or Fenrir or some other tanky robots, guys. Because if you are healing constantly, and uh, you, you, for example, receive 70,000 damage. In the meantime, it will again heal 6% of your durability. So it's not that bad on tanky robots. On tanky robots, it's not a small amount, this 6%. So what, uh, what else does he have? Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> he left it. I'm going back there. So it has also C-type and D-type chips. So this actually Defender is not that bad guys actually this uh, this uh, drone can be useful in the lower leagues definitely maybe in some middle leagues as well because uh, you have defensive chip and you have a uh, healing chip as well combined with the special ability so this one could be really interesting in lower leagues for tanky robots so let's go for the next one fly fly is having uh, yeah it, it, after an active module is used, increase the robot's damage output for 7 seconds. So this is basically like a modulative intensifier, like it says. Uh, but it's only 6% 6, uh, 6 additional damage, so I don't know, for me it's 6% is not that much, guys. Not that much. But it also have a B-type socket, uh, where you can put some offensive chips. And the A tab socket where you can put some uh, chips that are used for different uh, different effects, for example, freezing, lockdown. And this one, hmm, what would I say about fly? About fly, hmm, hmm, hmm. it's more it's more for some attacking robots, for example, like for Hulk. If you are in lower league, you don't have uh, you don't have gold to buy some other drones. Then maybe it's not bad for your Hulk. Combine this with, with this modulative intensifier. If you are using some healing on it, it can be really interesting. I'm just saying Hulk, like <laughs> just to give you <laughs> some perspective. Okay, so this one it's having 35% uh, less effect accumulation. So what would I say about this? I'm honestly not sure about this one, but uh, but it also has B type, C type, and the uh, shield uh, chips, Sh shield chip slot. So actually, this one can be interesting on uh, robots, for example, like uh, Shell. 
it can really be interesting. Also, it can be interesting on, uh, for example, Invader, Fenrir, because uh, you can use it with if you are using B-type socket. Uh, some maybe modulative intensifiers or maybe revitalizing intensifier on your Fenrir or Invader. It can be really interesting. Even even also also this can be interesting on uh, for example Falcon. If you are using Falcon, most likely you are using a traditionalist Falcon. So if you are using that traditionalist Falcon, this can be a really interesting uh, drone for it. So now let's go to premium drone. These are the drones that you can buy for silver and gold. The discus is the one that uh, you buy for gold. But now let's go into to the premium drones. For example, let's start with the drones that I'm using currently. I'm, for example, using a glider drone, which has a built-in uh, ability of phasing granulator. So basically, when you are using your phase shift, you will get 22% more, 22% uh, heal of the repairable durability so this one is actually really really good uh, ability for me uh, the glider in this moment is definitely the best drone at least that's my opinion i don't know some people love more love more power more stuff but i really for example uh, glider drone if you are using it on uh, the meter it can be really really viable and really cool drone guys so the next thing that it has, it has also A-type socket, it has 2D-type socket and the shield chip. So basically you, are, you can uh, put some uh, effects, I put a freezer, my freezer on and also you can put here a uh, whole different bunch of healing chips that can be really really useful guys. So, uh, and you have two slots of these. Also you have a shield chip, for example you can see my <laughs> storage of the shield chips uh, shield chips are really honestly cool chips guys so these are i think definitely one of the best or maybe the best chips in the game best chips in the game and everybody is using it from the moment they they came up to the live server everybody started using it because everybody knows that they are kind of op kind of op so the next drone that we will be checking is the nebula drone Nebula drone uh, has also really cool uh, built-in ability. This is mostly this ability is uh, can be useful on every single robot that you have because uh, if the robot receives more than 100,000 damage within three seconds, repairs a portion of its durability immediately. It's 58,000 repairable, uh, 58 percent of repairable durability, so it will repair more than almost 60% of your repairable durability which is a lot guys and cool cool <laughs> cool down time is only 5 seconds so this one is really cool chip guys especially for example if you are using it on your shell and you for example on your shell use uh, heavy armor kits or this one is is really really cool for invader for fenrir i would recommend using that one yeah. Also, you have two resistance chips or you these uh, defensive chips, guys. Uh, I'm using uh, this these chips because I really, really love this one on uh, shell. When your durability falls below 50%, increases the power of the robot's defense system. So basically, when enemy thinks that they almost kill you, you are the craziest in those moments, guys. Because you will have, uh, I, I use here, so for example, 60 defense points and I'm using one for 35 defense points. So I have totally 95 defense points. It's crazy, guys, crazy. Also, it has this uh, shield chip, which makes it also one of the best drones in the game. So basically what I'm running, I'm running combination of those two, those two drones. Then the next one is Octanian. This is more for people who really, really like offensive gameplay. And in here you have also built-in drones ability of... Uh, it's, it's basically built-in cannon. Eight, 865 damage, 500 meters range and 10 seconds reload, cool, uh, reload time. 
So with this chip uh, and thanks to its large ammo capacity and high rate of fire, your drone can use suppressive fire. The drone can shoot uh, independently of the robot. That's the only downside. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's a downside because if you are using this drone on some robot that is supposed to sneak to the enemy, for example like scorpions and <laughs> robots like that, maybe even uh, Loki, you will have a lot of problems guys because this, this drone will start shooting at your enemy and they will realize that you are just behind them. So I wouldn't recommend this using for example on Lokis or some other sneaky little robots guys. <laughs> More use it on some offensive robots, for example like Hawk. Because you will also have uh, two A-type sockets, which are basically uh, abil different, all different uh, abilities like suppression, freeze and lockdown like I said. And you will have two B-type sockets, which are attacking slots, attacking chips. So this one, for example, for me is good on attacking robots, like I said. Let's go for the next one. The next one, I have it as well, is a wasp. So this drone, uh, this drone is having uh, his special ability, 145. Uh, damage per second, 5 seconds effect duration adds a damage over time effect to drone's weapons. So you basically need to run arms controller chip, some of the arms chips and it will add some corrosion to your... For me this ability and this uh, these two chips are waste of, waste of slots, to be honest. These are waste of slots because it doesn't, uh, any of these chips, it doesn't deal any serious damage to your enemy guys or it would take you forever to kill anybody with this and 145 it's not really, it's not not much <laughs> it's crazy, come on guys uh, also it has uh, one, one A type slot and two B type slots so basically this one is also good for some attacking roles guys not on defensive roles but because of these two slots in here, they, which are basically for me wasted, I wouldn't recommend using Wasp. I, I personally wouldn't use Wasp. The next one that we have here is a sharpshooter, so his special ability is as long as last stand is active, increases the robot's damage output by 25% additional damage. So this one is not bad, but it activates only once per game and these four and a half seconds while your last stand is on, so I don't know, for me this ability is a uh, bad one, not good at all. Also it has one of the slots is these, which like I already said, they are really useful, useless guys, useless. I mean if they, maybe they will buff it some serious, they will give them some serious buff in future, but at this point they are really not that good boys. Also it has one A type and one B type, but for me this drone is definitely no no. Let's see a little bit more. Did we miss something? Yes, the eye, and that would be it for now. The eye has a built-in uh, weapon that after an active module is used, increase the robot's damage output for 7 seconds. 22% additional damage and only 7 seconds. Uh, effect okay effect duration so guys this drone is basically a really really good one I would use it it all depends for example some people like to run some uh, attacking setups even on Fenrir so on Fenrir for example or invader when you use this uh, drone you will have ability when you are, uh, while you are healing yourself, you'll be shooting at enemies with 22% more, which is basically like more than two thermonukes, having thermonuclear modules on your robot, which is actually not bad. Seven seconds is not that small amount of time, guys, when you consider uh, the battles and the speed of the game and the damage that, uh, basically the damage that weapons right now in the war robots are dealing. But one, one slot that I honestly don't like, like I said, 
which is really waste of slot, is this arms controller socket. So also it has two A tab sockets, which is really good, and one B type socket. So basically you can turn this uh, little uh, drone into a uh, attacking beast, guys. If that's your plan, uh, I would I would recommend this using uh, on robots that you want to use in attack attacking purposes, guys. So uh, I think that would be it for for now with all these drones that I covered. I covered all the drones which are currently in the game, boys. If I missed something, please let me know down below in the comment section. But I haven't missed anything. <laughs> like I know. For now, uh, these are the old ones that we have in the game currently, boys. So, I hope that uh, I kind of uh, helped you with the choice of the drone for your robots. Uh, I shared my thoughts with you and let me, know, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this video, what do you think about my uh, experiences with these drones, what do you think about my recommendations. Also, if you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and hit the like video, hit, hit the like button on this video, guys. Till then, suck so see you around. See ya. Bye bye.